This London landmark is his legacy. Would the Cutis Arc be here if it wasn't for Prince Philip? Quite probably not. Without his vision and his passion, perhaps the ship may not be here today but for him. That famous and beautiful old tea clipper, Cutisac. It was once the fastest, but in 1953, it was at the end of its life on the water. Now, the 84-year-old clipper has been taken over by the Duke of Edinburgh as president of the Cutisac Preservation Society. He was the one that really drove that campaign to see the ship conserved here and displayed in Greenwich, and so he was with it every step along the way. Ceremonies on board the Worcester mark the handing over of the ship, which is to be kept as a lasting monument to the days of sail. He had such strong links to the sea, and I think for him, the Cutty Sark represented so much about man and the sea and the great age of sail. And so Cutty Sark is in many ways the last of those ships and one of the most famous, if not the most famous, sailing ship in the world. And so I think for him, it encapsulated many of those values and so he saw a great need and opportunity to preserve the ship for all time. Despite the post-war austerity, Prince Philip helped raise enough money to build a permanent home for his ship. The Duke of Edinburgh arrives by launch at Greenwich Pier. As patron of the Cutty Sark Preservation Society, he was to lay the foundation stone of a permanent berth for this famous old sailing ship. It needed money and it needed vision and of course it was just after the war. There was not a lot of money around and, there was, and money that was around was needed for many other things. First His Royal Highness operated the pile driver which set the last pile into its key position. When the dock is completed, Cutty Sark will lie in it a permanent centre of interest for all visitors. This and project was his passion as was Greenwich and so all those things came together whereby the ship could be the um, realisation of, of many of those things coming together. Even when the Cutty Sark was in trouble again, catching fire in 2007 during renovation work, Prince Philip was on site the next day to lend his support. And five years later, he was back on the deck of his beloved clipper to see it reopen to the public. How much will you miss him? We'll miss him greatly because he'd been associated with museum from the very beginning. So he's been an ever constant in the life and history of this organisation. The country has lost a prince, but this ship has lost its patron. Rags Martel, ITV News, Greenwich.